John Rogers Searle's Mind, Language, and Society, Philosophy in the Real World, is a thought-provoking exploration of some of the most fundamental questions in philosophy. In this book, Searle delves into the intricate interplay between human cognition, language, and society, offering profound insights and challenging prevailing philosophical paradigms. Searle begins by addressing the mind, a perennial topic in philosophy. He challenges the dualist perspective that separates the mind from the body, proposing a materialist viewpoint. His argument hinges on the concept of intentionality, which is the idea that mental states are inherently directed toward objects or states of affairs in the world. Searle asserts that mental phenomena are rooted in the physical brain and cannot be divorced from it. This rejection of dualism aligns with contemporary neuroscience and cognitive science, making it a compelling thesis in the context of the book's publication. Furthermore, Searle tackles the philosophy of language, a domain where he has made significant contributions. He argues that language is not just a tool for representing the world but also a crucial aspect of our social reality. Drawing on his famous speech-act theory, he emphasizes the performative nature of language. According to Searle, language is not just a matter of conveying information but also a way of performing actions and expressing intentions. This perspective challenges traditional linguistic theories that focus solely on semantics and syntax, offering a richer understanding of how language functions in human society. Searle also addresses the question of meaning in language. He introduces the concept of intentional content to explain how language can represent states of affairs in the world. According to him, Meaning arises from the speaker's intention to refer to something in the world, and this intentionality is what gives words their semantic content. This view aligns with his rejection of purely abstract, formal theories of language, emphasizing the importance of real-world reference. Another central theme in the book is the notion of social ontology. Searle contends that social reality is not merely a collection of individual mental states but a product of collective intentionality. He introduces the idea of institutional facts to explain how social institutions and structures are created through shared intentions. This perspective challenges individualistic accounts of social phenomena and highlights the role of collective agency in shaping our social world. Searle's exploration of society extends to the domain of political philosophy. He argues that political power is fundamentally derived from collective intentionality and social institutions. This view has profound implications for our understanding of political authority and legitimacy. It challenges traditional theories of the state and sovereignty, emphasizing the role of collective agreement in the establishment of political order. Throughout the book, Searle engages with various philosophical traditions and contemporary debates. He critiques the ideas of philosophers like Ludwig Wittgenstein, J. L. Austin, and Jacques Derrida, offering his own distinctive perspectives. His writing is characterized by clarity and precision, making complex philosophical concepts accessible to a broad readership. One of the strengths of mind, language, and society is its interdisciplinary approach. Searle draws on insights from philosophy, linguistics, psychology, and sociology to build his arguments. This multidisciplinary perspective enriches the book's content and makes it relevant to a wide range of intellectual interests. However, the book is not without its critics. Some argue that Searle's rejection of dualism and his materialist stance on the mind remain contentious issues in philosophy. Others challenge his views on language, suggesting that his speech-act theory may oversimplify the complexities of linguistic meaning. Additionally, 
His perspective on social ontology and political philosophy has sparked debates about the nature of collective intentionality and the foundations of political authority. In conclusion, John Roger Searle's Mind, Language, and Society, Philosophy in the Real World, is a captivating and influential work that addresses profound philosophical questions in a clear and accessible manner. Searle's rejection of dualism, his insights into the performative nature of language, and his exploration of social ontology offer valuable contributions to the fields of philosophy, linguistics, and social theory. While his ideas are not without controversy, they continue to stimulate intellectual discourse and provide a compelling framework for understanding the intricate connections between mind, language, and society.